reach for the sealant, this is a stick-up. Turn your head toward the wall and don't move a muscle. Empty the cash register. Those were the daring words shouted by Memphis Mike and the Tor gangster when he terrorized 16 people in a daring holdup of the Apex jewelry store. Whew, what a guy. No nerves at all. Ice water in his veins. Just imagine. The reward for Memphis Mike totals over $5,000. Boy, if I ever caught him, I'd quit working here like that. Are you quitting today or finishing out the week? I'm quitting right now. Oh, <laughs> oh, hello, boy. I was only kidding. Well, I'm not. Get back to that soda fountain or it'll be too bad. Yes, sir. Him and his rewards. If I'd let him, he'd keep his nose buried in this crime magazine from morning till night. He's got no more chance of spotting one of these criminals than I have of swimming to Calcutta. Hi. Hi. Hey, what's this here, uh... Three on top. Well, I'll have one. I'll leave off the cherry. Huh? Too fat. Oh. Say, uh, buddy, you got any idea where I get a place to live in this town? Say, I might at that. Yeah? Yeah, there's a vacancy where I live, at the Royal Arms. 310 East Elm. Tell him you know me. My name's Bert Wheeler. Thanks, pal. Not at all. Glad to help you out. How do you like that, Mr. Uh, uh, Bennett? Bennett. Mr. Bennett, what are you going to do in town if I'm not too inquisitive? Oh, I figured on opening up a couple of stores. Yeah? Mm hmm What kind? Oh, I'm not too particular. I like any kind of store that's got money in it. Why don't you open up a drugstore? This drugstore took in over $700 during the weekend. You're kidding. It's right out there in the safe. Where did you say that safe was? Uh, straight ahead. Mm. See where it says prescriptions? Yeah. Turn left. Mm. Then jog right around the corner. Mm. You can't miss it. Hey, uh, how much do I owe you? Oh, uh, that'll be 35 cents. 35 cents, uh-huh. Mm. No, I don't seem to have any change. Oh, um, pal, uh, would you mind cashing this check for me? I made it out to cash for 25. 35 cents out of 25 dollars. Mm -hmm. Right. Here you are, 35, 50, 1, 2, 5, and two tens make 25. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. <laughs> I better hurry over to the Royal Arms and grab that vacancy. You know, I'm going to enjoy having you for a neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. Hurry back. Oh, don't you worry. I'll be back. <laughs> See you later. Bert, did I see you taking a check from that stranger? Yes, sir, but it's all right. Well, it better be. You know my rules. Let me see it. You let him pay for a Sunday with a $25 check? Yeah, but don't worry about it, Mr. Keeper. He's a friend of mine. It's perfectly okay. <laughs> Hello, Bert. Ruthie, darling. Hmm. What are you doing downtown? Well, it was Dollar Den. We now, never mind that. I'm simply exhausted. Give me a double chocolate soda on the double. Yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. Just tea for me with lemon. Yes, honey. Ah! Huh? I only want a soda, not a floor show. Coming up. See, Mother, your dress cleaned up just fine. No thanks to you. Oh, Mr. Bennett. Mm -hmm. Did you get your room all right? Oh, yeah. Everything is just fine. See you later. Oh, Mr. Bennett, mm -hmm. I'd like to have you meet my wife and my mother-in-law, Mrs. Clay. How do you do? Pleasure. Uh, uh, Mr. Bennett. What's on your mind, pal? What's on your mind? I'm in a hurry. I want to talk to you about that check. Hmm? Yeah, you see, the boss is a little suspicious. 
<laughs> Why, I'll never understand. <laughs> you know, but he says that I've got to get up that cash or he's going to take it out of my pay. Well, tell him what you do. Go up to my room, 1208. There are a couple of friends of mine in there. They'll give you the dough. <laughs> oh, uh, tell them that you're the pigeon from the drugstore. <laughs> so long. Gee, thanks, Mr. Bennett. Swell fella. Open the door. people in 1208, and I'll be right back. Well, what's it about? Oh, nothing, just some friends. Well, see that you stay out of trouble, stupid. Yeah? Oh, uh, Mr. Bennett asked me to drop in and see you. Oh, yeah, and who are you? He told me to tell you that I'm the pigeon from a drugstore. Oh, well, come on in. <laughs> Guess what, Whitey? This is the little pigeon from the drugstore. Well, what do you know? Shake. Sit down. Now, why'd you have to drink? Look, fellas, I didn't come here to drink. You see, Mr. Bennett gave me this bad check. Oh, no. Accidentally, oh, of course. Sure. <laughs> he said that you'd take care of it. Oh, sure, you bet. Why did you write him out another check? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you, you don't understand. The boss is sore. I've got to have the money. Oh, money? Who cares about money? Here, have a drink. No, I, see, you, you don't understand. I've got a mother-in-law, and I'm... No, what's the matter? What's the matter? Ain't we good enough for you to drink with? I didn't say that. I'm not good enough to drink with oh. you. Well, we think you are. Here, down the hatch. Chaser. <laughs> Chaser. 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 Oh, what a day. We wouldn't have to crash through those crowded streets if that husband of yours could earn to buy a car. But what can you expect of a man who wastes all of his time reading these silly crime magazines? You're telling me there's no room to put my things anymore. Oh, for Pete's sake. Here's another one. Current crimes. What's he want current crimes for? He's got five years of them here he'll never catch up with. Yeah. Pretty soon we'll have to rent a warehouse to store them in. See what I mean? Look, who does that remind you of? Why? Why, the man we met downstairs that Bert introduces Mr. Bennett. Mother, you're right. Why, of course I am right. Why, that gopher's been pulling jobs all over the country, and I'm going to put the finger on him. The finger? Why, the bite, the nab, the pinch. Listen, kid, five grand is a lot of snitch money. Snitch money? Mother, have you been reading those crime magazines? Well, never mind that. Don't just stand there. Now's our big chance. You're right to snitch him about it. I've taken his things. He'll need these if he's going to capture Mike single-handed. Oh, single-handed. He's no help. I'm going to call the DA. 